If you have used Creo or ProE and now have to learn SOLIDWORKS for school or for a job, here are a few tips to help get you started. In this video, the topic of drawings will be covered. This is the main SOLIDWORKS drawing window. The featured design tree on the left shows the different views and sheets that are found within the document. The View Layout tab in the Command Manager allows you to create the standard views as well as other views such as section views and crop views. This is very similar to the Layout tab found in Creo and ProE. Under the Annotations tab, there are all the tools for dimensioning drawings as well as other symbols commonly used in drawings, which is similar to the Annotate tab found in Creo and ProE. To start a new drawing, go under File, New, and select Drawing. The window that appears allows you to pick your size and template of your drawing. Select the desired template and click OK. The Model View Property Manager will open on the left and you can either select the model to create a drawing of either from already opened documents or by browsing to a document. Select the model and click the right arrow at the top of the Property Manager. Here you are able to choose which views you want as well as some other options. If one view is created, it can be placed by clicking on the drawing sheet with the mouse. If multiple views were selected, the check mark can be pressed to create the view. Another way to insert a view is by going under the View Palette icon on the right side of the window. From here, you can choose the file to be used in the drawing at the top of this window. You can then choose what will be your front view in the drawing. The top and right views can be inserted by moving your mouse above and to the right of the front view. To set the sheet properties such as the type of projection and scale, right click on the sheet and select properties. Here, first angle or third angle projection can be set as well as the scale. The units as well as the drafting standard are set by going under tools and options. Both the drafting standard and the units are found under the document properties tab. The scale or display of an individual view can be changed by clicking on it in the graphics window and then selecting the option in the property manager on the left. In Creo, the user needs to create the entire format of the drawing. This includes creating borders and the title block. In SOLIDWORKS, the basic template is given to you and you can edit the sheet format by right clicking the sheet and selecting Edit Sheet Format. Some of these properties such as the title and company name can be changed by going under File, Properties, and Custom. From here, the properties can be selected and the values can be entered. To exit out of editing the sheet format, right click in the graphics window and select Edit Sheet. Properties such as material that reside in the part can be set by going under Properties within the part document. Material can be set within the property and it will be transferred to the drawing. To dimension drawings, you can use the Model Items feature, which will allow you to import in dimensions from the model, or you can use the Smart Dimension tool to manually put in dimensions. I hope this information is helpful in the transition from Creo and ProE to SOLIDWORKS.